Super Mario Concert got a lot of new enemies, especially with this new water update. And to show you all of you what, how to customize every single one of them, it's gonna be a, a really long video. So let's get started. So I already created a, a nice cute little level here, customizable enemies, just properly named, everything is set. So let's go, first enemy. So we're gonna go here, right here, the third icon from the editor tab, and we're gonna go from top to bottom, just for, for simplicity. Okay, so we start off with the Goombas. So the, the I'm gonna make one thing clear. There are only two keys to customize enemies here, which are left shift and control. As for Goombas, you can't really do much with them. You can only sh change color hitting shift, like this, like that, and like that, only by hitting shift once. Control only only flips them around and makes them move to the right instead of the left, like they usually do. So I'm gonna leave a, about two Goombas here, the red one and the, the brown, sure, why not. Next we have the Goombrats. They have no special properties, they, you can only, you can however change direction hitting control, like I'm doing right now. Okay, so let's leave it about here, why not? Just to see how it behave, behaves. And one particular note about the Goombrat, it, it also uh, behaves like the Red Koopa. It walks around the platform and it doesn't fall off. That's pretty cool. So next is another Goombrat thingy. It, same with uh, this Goombrat right here. You can only... You can only... Flip him around, like I said. Okay, so I turned the cursor on for you to, to make it, things a lot easier for you to understand. So, on with the enemies. Next up we have the Galoomba. This one, you can actually click lift shift and make it a Paragoomba, or Paragoomba, which will jive and then jump to a, a, a greater height, like you'll see right now, when, I, when I'm about to test the level. And now, next up we have the Spinies. You can do much with these, you can only flip direction, Doing like this walks to the right, like this, like this walks to the left. Not much to see here. Next up is the munchers. The, you can actually place th place these in four directions. Normally you place them like this in the ground, but um, be aware that if you place them like this and like this, once you start the level, they'll automatically face upwards. When if you place them in thin air like this, so the way to Make them look like the way you want, is to simply place a tile, um, like I'm about to do now. I don't know, let's go for this for, for simplicity. Like this, beautiful. <laughs> Alright, next up is the Niji. Well, not much to be done here, you can't even change direction, you just have to place them. They, they'll automatically face Mario wherever he is, so you, there's no, not much to be done here. Okay, so that's it for the first batch of enemies. Let's test them out. Okay, see? Okay, Red Goomba actually walks a, a bit faster than the, than the Brown Goomba. Normally you, you carry these around. Oh, sorry, I, I meant to show you how the Paragoomba behaves. Just... Alright. Let's see how it behaves. It behaves kind of like in Super Mario World, so... Ah, there he goes. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's pretty much it about the these enemies in particular. Next up is the Rex, I believe. Yes, it is. You can, again, you can hit control to flip him over to the right or to the left. And if you hit shift, you can make them, you can spawn squished Rexes. And one interesting thing about this is the squished Rex walks faster than the normal Rex. Like I'm going to, to show you right soon enough. Next enemy is the Piranha Plant. This one should be easy enough to understand. No particular properties instead of flipping them over in four directions. So place them like this and like this. And yes, I already built th these pipes just for, for the Piranha Plants. Just so to get some work already finished. <laughs> Okay, next up is the Poison Mushroom. This is uh, quite a new addition. Uh, do, leave him like this with no icon, 
makes him static. It doesn't move at all. If you hit control, you can you can it will move to the left, and it, and doing placing him like this moves it to the right. And, and again, you can change properties by hitting control. As for the poison mushroom, no particular properties with shift so far. Okay, next enemy is the volcano lotus. Um, there's no no particular customization. Very simple. Just place him, and it'll just spit out the the fireballs or whatever that thing spits out. T TMI. <laughs> okay, next is a much more interesting enemy, which is the Monty Mole. Okay, so for this Monty Mole in, in specific, you actually leave a cut off like this, like I already left here in the ground. Place him right in this hole, and don't you worry, it will it will really generate a, a tile like this one. All right, so there's not much you can do here. You, just, you simply place the, the hole. But if you hit control, you can actually change to to the ground, to ground spawner. See, there's, there's a lot of different moles in, in this new update. It is the, the normal one, normal multi-mole. A big multi-mole which uh, spawns from the wall. But you can also make this spawn from the ground. Okay, let's. I'm. I'm gonna um, show you how they behave when I play the level. It's a lot easier to understand. Okay, that's about done. Next up is the the already spawned Monty Moles. And if you hit shift, you can actually uh, place different Monty Moles. I I believe you can't um, spell. Hold on. I believe you can't stomp on these because they have the metal plate protecting their head. But le why not? Let's let's place this. And let's test the level. Why not? Okay, let's just do a little speed running here. Bam and bam. Yes, you can actually kill poison mushrooms. Okay, you can no can't normally kill those unless you, you stomp on these. And the ones with the sunglasses just carry you over and move or, and don't follow you at all. But the ones with the platform on their head do follow you. Like you're gonna see right here. No, not like that. Let me actually make things easier here. And uh, one thing at a time. <laughs> okay, like like we've seen before. That the the, the Monty Mole with the sunglasses just moves wherever it feels like it. This one actually follows you around, the one with the platform on its head. That's pretty cool for for a, a muncher field or spike field levels and one of those app obstacles. Yeah, I'm, this is a pretty cool feature. All right, that's enough fun for now. Next up, it, let's just replace these guys with the already on the ground Monty moles. They are they are quite dangerous indeed. <laughs> All right, let's see what these these uh, do. Okay. These ones the, the already spawn the, already they don't spawn from the ground but they behave the exact same way as the ones that do spawn from the ground. Okay, you you get you get the gist by now. <laughs> All right, next up is these Monty moles. Those these Monty moles are very interesting because these are the the rocky wrenches that you see in Super Mario Bros. Three airships. So you have to place them on the ground. Like this, and as you, as I hit shift, they change color. Wait, sorry, not shift, left control. If I hit left control, it changed color, but so, some a color, there's this, this specific color that uh, throws different things. So if I place the, the rocky wrench with the gray shell, they throw rocky wrenches. They throw wrenches at you. So does the green one. But the red one throws ba bombs. Yeah, I'm gonna show you right now. But if you're gonna add these enemies, then please make 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 place something that indicates where they are. Just like those metal metal thingies in the airship levels, like a bush or whatever, anything that signals, hey, there's something ar happening around here. So let's just level and figure that what they do. Okay, gray one throws wrenches. Green one also throws wrenches, and this one throws the bombs. Yeah, just like I said before. But still a pretty interesting feature in, to see. All right, next enemies. Next enemies is the Koopas. This is pretty interesting because 
if, if, no matter if you pick the the shell Koopa, if and no matter if you pick the shellless Koopa or only the shell, if you hit shift, it will it will change it will change the the Koopa's Koopa's stance. Either if they don't have the, the shell, they have the shell. If you hit shift, you get all the forms, just like this. This one walks normally. This is. This is just a, a shell, the object itself, and the the arrow point to the right, to the left. I'm sorry, um, makes it spin the shell spin automatically to the to your direction normally. But if you want to change direction, keep in mind, just hit control. Control normally uh, flips the direction over, depending on the enemy. Okay. Now this Parakupa here. Actually flies up and down. No, it doesn't duck like, like you normally expect. No, no, no. Not like that. To make them f go up and down, make sure you place, place these in midair. Like this. This one fly actually flies diagonally to from the uh, top right to the bottom left. But if you but you might be wondering, but how do I make them fly directly to the right? Easy. You just hit control and you change direction. That's pretty much it. Okay, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Pretty self-explanatory. Flies to, from right to left. Flies horizontally. Not much to see here. This one already is self-explanatory too. Let's place him. Why not? But this one jumps. The, the one. This one doesn't fly from up and down. No, no, no. This is a jumping Koopa. And this Koopa with two arrows. No, I'm sorry. This scoop, this scoop, this scoop with two arrows is one of those scoopers that jump at a, a much greater height than the ones with only one arrow. I'm gonna place him right behind the star block just to differentiate from the other jumping Koopa. Like this. Okay, you actually see, you must have seen a, a Koopa with a dash by now. This one with a dash is a static Koopa. This one does not move at all. So this is kind of cool for um, for a Koopa stomping challenges and a guarding enemy and stuff like that. It, it actually is pretty cool and I can see myself using this this kind of behavior quite often. And that's pretty much it um, for the Koopas. Remember, if you anytime you want to change directions, press Control to change properties. Just press Shift for the Koopas. Okay, next enemy. I believe is it's the Buzzy Beetle. Again, the shell thing, it's exact same thing as the Koopas, just it shift to change behavior, change stance or whatever. This is just the shell object. This is a, a normal Buzzy Beetle. I'm gonna place it right here. And this one is, this, is one of those Buzzy Beetles you see in Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. 3. This is the upside down beetle that uh, only works correctly if you actually place tiles uh, above it. Like I'm gonna about to do now. I'm going to use these stone blocks for simplicity again. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's test the, these two out. Oh boy. All right, so this is quite a, a sight we're seeing. We already killed the, the jumping Koopa. Here it is, the two arrow Koopa jumps a lot higher than the, the other one, as you can see right now. And look at that. This one is actually static, it doesn't move at all. And w whenever the, that upside down buzzy beetle approaches us, it's gonna start dro to drop down and spin ag against us. That, that's something you, you didn't see in Super Mario Flash, like at all. All right, next enemy is the Hammer Bro. So there's you can't do much about Hammer Bros. You just place them, and that's it. They don't uh, you don't need to hit shift or control to to change direction they'll automatically point at you wherever you are okay next enemy is the spikes yeah this thing right here is it's called a spike and these things throw spinning spiky balls like this one in particular these just go left and right you don't have to you don't have much to customize you just hit control to change directions and that's it nothing much but the spikes, however, if you leave them like this, they walk normally from left to right. 
but you can also change direction like this if in control but if you actually hit shift the, this down arrow appears though now don't expect it's gonna duck no 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 nothing like that <laughs> the down arrow makes them static they just stay wherever they are and throw the spikes and that's it these ones without the arrow just walk from right to left like I'm going to show soon enough, again. So, next spikes. No, not next spikes. Next, next enemies, sorry. Is the Chuck. So, Chucks don't have much going on, except you hit Shift to change which, which behavior you want to add to the Chuck. This is just a simple one, the one that simply runs. You hit Shift and you get the Clapping Chuck they, that jumps with you close to him. Hit Shift again, it's uh, the... The arc jumping, the arc jumping Chuck, yes. The one that keeps jumping in arcs and until he gets you. If you hit shift again, you get the baseball Chuck. If you hit shift again, shift again, you get the football Chuck. Or the almond, ch almond shooter, as I like to call him. <laughs> and that's all five behaviors of the Chucks. Pretty simple. And Buster Beetles. I believe that's called uh, these dudes. This is the enemies in Super Mario Bros. 3 that throw blue bricks at you. I'm gonna show right here. Yeah, here is fine enough. And again, the bombs. You can't do do much about these. These you can only hit control to flip the direction. Either they walk to the left or, or they walk to the right. Not much being done here. Next up is the bullet bill. Bullet bills are quite interesting. Because you can see all these colors right here. And I'm going to start with the, the simplest property, which is direction. Control makes them... You can turn it in four directions like this. Hit control. And there, a nice little cross. But the way to make them Banzai bills is you hit shift until you want them to be there. Now, you might have seen different colors here. The, the black one is a normal speed one. The red one is, is a fast bullet bill, or a fast Banzai bill in this case. And the blue one is a slow Banzai bill. Same thing applies to bullet bills. Red bullet bills shoot really fast, and the, the blue bullet bills are really slow. Okay, you might actually see these bullet bills with cat ears. The ones with cat ears actually chase you around. <laughs> And red cat eared uh, bullet bills chase you around too, except they're much faster. And the blue cat eared bullet bill chase you around, but they're very slow. Not very easy to understand. But it's a quite interesting property, in fact. And for now, I think it's enough enemies to place, and let's test the level once again. Ah. There, there they are. The Yammer Bros don't, don't do much. They already automatically follow you around. That spike was walking. This one doesn't, like I said. Look at that. Frenzomania, and we died. <laughs> oh, wow, they, they actually follow you, when, even if you die. Ah, and one little thing about that this morning mode with the sunglasses. This is just a aesthetic, a, a aesthetic change. Not... Not much to difference between the normal Monty Mole. But it is quite cool, in fact. <laughs> okay, so we didn't get to see the Banzais, we, but we'll get to it right now. And look at that. Now, please don't do this in your levels, because it will cause, cause serious and serious lag. I, I strongly advise you to not do this. I'm just doing this for, for, this, for showcasing the behaviors, and that's it. Okay, on to the next enemies. But before that, uh, let's move to the other map, because this one is already chock full of enemies. <laughs> Alright, next enemy is the these cannon things, cannonballs. So this one is quite similar to the bullet bills. They have four directions, if, if you hit control, you can you change the direction. And if you place the red one, it's it's a fast can cannonball. The blue one is the slow cannonball, just like the bullet bills. And they don't chase you around. They just they're just inanimate objects. 
All right, next enemy is the Torpedo Ted. This might be the first um, underwater enemy, but I want to let me place another uh, skull block like this just to make a point here. Okay, back to the, to the Torpedo Ted. This hand is Torpedo Ted, the Torpedo Ted generator. You place them like this and like this. Okay, I'll fix that up later, don't, don't worry. And the way you can customize it is you hold shift and click the hand. And then you can customize it your, your way. As far as TED launches go, if you, if you choose target left, it only points, launches the, the, TED, the torpedoes to the left. And to, if you choose the right, they only launch to the right. And if you choose target Mario, they're going to point wherever Mario is. Which is quite advanced for, for a game like this. And you can also change the torpedo types. Default types are the missile ones. It's these ones with um, the cat ears. As you, as you can see right now. They have, these are the normal speed. Fast missiles is the, the cat here to peer the which are very fast. And of course it has the slow version of the cat ears. This, this is what this launcher can can well, spawn. <laughs> there's a, there's a, a little bit more to explore here. The delay is the, the fire rate of the torpedoes. If you put one, it's going to be really, really fast. If you really want to be sadis sadistic. Two, if you want to be a bit, a bit slow, put something like five or six. Level your choice. I want to leave it at, at the default, which is three seconds. And this offset is how much it's going to drop it's going to be launched. 32 is the default, but if I make it like, like 128, I'll show you how it works. And you can also input negative values here, but, but if you put negative values, it's going to launch upward, like I'm going to do with this end right below here. Minus 64. Okay, and, and just... I don't want to leave this cut off somehow, so I'm going to put this in layer 2 actually, and remove this. There you go, just like this. And just for, for testing purposes, you can. And another tip here, editor tip here. You can hold shift and click the, the green arrow button, and it lets you start off from any entrance in the level. For example, I'm going to start off at this one, map 2, entrance 1, which is this downward pipe right here. And let's get to the torpedo heads. I know, I know. Okay, this one looks a bit choppy, I know. And there you go, it launched upwards. So yeah, you, you actually can't place the, the, the boxes above below the, the launcher. It always must be above the, the hand. So let's back, get back to the editor and fix that real quick. L1 and remove this box right here. There you go. Alright, next enemy is the Thwomps. Oh boy, the Thwomps. This, this guy's got a cool makeover in, in Construct. So you place them like this, like normally, and you can change direction hitting control. Can, they have four directions, just like the bull pills and the cannonballs. Like this. And you're gonna be amazed when I, cl when I click shift. They get even bigger! Like, how cool is that? This, this makes for even more serious threat in the level, in the castle levels. Like, they, I can see already tons of ideas with the big thwomp. So, I'm, you can also turn this around in any direction you want. So, let's not get too crazy with this level and actually leave only one of these around. Because <laughs> these are quite savages, I tell you. <laughs> Okay, next enemy is the Dry Bones. Uh, dry Bones, not much should be done here in terms of direction. It control, left control to flip them over. But, but, if you click sh left shift, it turns into a bone throwing Dry Bone. The ones that actually throw bones. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> so far there are no bony beetles. I kind of wish they were, but they simply aren't. Next is the grinders, or the saws, whatever you like to call it. They, there's not much to, to be said here too. It control to flip directions, to either flip 
to go to the right or go to the left, up to you. But if you hit shift, you can place them like this, which makes them static. They don't move at all. Even if you place them midair, they stay there. They actually don't fall and, well, touch the ground. They actually remain midair and this makes some, some really cool spin jump challenges. Like you, you, you can see in many Kaizo hack levels. And this is quite a great addition in my opinion. Next up is the Falling Spike. I kind of want to leave Boom Boom till the end. So Falling Spike is pretty damn simple. Just flip, the, flip to four directions using Control Shift. Place them like this along the ceiling and the floor. Or who knows, maybe even the wall. But that's only for really crazy levels. If you are that much of a masochist or a, a sadistic bastard, a sadistic. Ah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Next up is the the lava balls. But before placing the lava balls themselves, let's actually make a pool of lava. A pool of uh, red lava and ice lava. Yeah, ice lava. You heard me right. Uh, yeah, it looks cut off. I know, I know. Blah, blah, blah. I know, I know. Uh, you know. Notice the animation might be a bit choppy, but don't you worry. It's going to be fixed as soon as you're playing the level. So, it's very cool. Alright, so, the Pado Boos. The official um, name from the Mario series. Is you place them down, and this is things where get really complex here. Okay, so, to change properties of the Pado Boos, you hold sh left left shift key and click on the podoboo. And there you get all of these options. So let's get th this down reverse. Reverse, I, um, okay, let, let me think for a second. Reverse actually starts level and the, while the lava ball is still up in the air. So if you check this, it's gonna start up in the air when you start the level. If you uncheck it, it you, it's not gonna appear. It's go gonna actually take a moment while it, well, um, it comes out of the of, of the actual lava. Okay, mode is fire, fire and ice. So you, it, there's also a, there are also ice portables in concert already. So ice portable looks like this, but just for consistency changes, let's make uh, actual red portable come out of the lava to change it back. Simply go to mode and hit fire, and that's it. So, the remaining options, you can also change the angle here, the angle which the, the potables jump. For example, I'm gonna pick a 45. It looks kind of a whack, I know. <laughs> but you actually can do this and, and actually put uh, lava ceilings on top for an even more dramatic effect. So, if you want to get even weirder with the, the angles, let's pick a 157 here, for example. It's quite a crazy <laughs> angle to be spawning, in fact. Okay, you now you might notice movement and jump. Those are those are different things. Jump is the actual how many blocks is the, the potable gonna jump over. Ten blocks is the max max it can go. Um, the normal is between six and seven, I believe. Six and seven blocks. So I'm gonna leave it at six, since it, it's how much the, the lava ball is going to jump upwards. And this movement thing is how it's gonna move horizontally. But uh, if you place five, you're gon not gonna notice this anything. So if you want um, want the, this movement property to see, to actually see its effect, place a higher number like 40 to or 50. I'm gonna leave it at 50, just so you how it behaves. Now this delay is how how often it's gonna pop up. It's gonna pop up really fast or really slow. The the lower the delay. The, the more faster you're gonna pop up. The, just to make this clean here. So I don't recommend um, the living it at such a low value. I normally put between 3 and 4. That, um, again, this is entirely up to you. And the start delay is going... Um, it's an entirely different thing. Like, Super Mario Concert also has, has this really cool detail that if you hover this arrows thingy, it displays what the tip. A tooltip bar um, that actually explains what the function does. Now I'm I'm hovering the delay thing, and you it might be appear cut off to you. You can't read it at all, but I'm gonna read it out loud for you. 
Delay is the delay between jump cycles. That's what this toolbar tooltip says. And ab about the start delay, oh, actually this one doesn't uh, display any info, but essentially start delay um, allows to to for a, a specific uh, lava ball to appear a bit right before or after more potables inside the level. If you just uh, leave, leave this the same for every potable, they're gonna pop up at the exact same time. That's what start delay means. Okay, let's drop another potable here and make it an icy one. There you go, looking pretty, pretty sharp here. <laughs> Okay, for real, next enemy, the Desert Pokey. This one is pretty cool. You, you can simply add left control to make him walk to the left or the right. But, but, if you hit shift, you can actually add a, another torso to the Pokey. Remember, you can have up to five torsos, or six heads, or whatever. Okay, this is how high it can go, this is the lowest it can go. There's also snow pokies right beside. They behave the exact, exact same way as the desert ones. They, the only, the only uh, difference here is, is the cosmetic change. It kind of looks like a snowman. I mean, it literally is a snowman. <laughs> okay, next is the... Um, let's go for the twimps, sure. Twimps, not, not much to be done here. The only thing you can do about this is the where they're gonna jump. They're gonna start from left to right or right to left. That's the only thing that's customizable here. As for the um, twimps. Okay, that's this is where things get freaky here. The um, cannons. So I'm gonna... Um, cannons is, is the ca it's cannon launchers, obviously. So I'm gonna place uh, two of these. Actually, three. Three of these here. And to wait to customize here, customize them, you don't actually use left control, but you hold left shift and click on the... Um, on the can launcher you want to customize. For example, I want to attach this one to this left wall. So you go here and go select left. The angle, you can also change the angle is going to point. I'm going to pick 45. And there you go, it actually changed the, the direction. That's pretty, pretty awesome actually. You can also change the ammo here. It spells ammo, but it's ammo. <laughs> Cannonball fast spawns the, spawns the red cannonballs, the fast ones, so spawns the blue cannonballs, and it, it can also, also shoot the bombs, just like the, the, those monimals that come from the airship. You know, the ones with the, the plates on their heads. <laughs> okay, it, there's also the, this tooltip thingy about cycles. And again, this tooltip might be peer cut off to you, but I'm gonna read it out loud again. Cycles, it means that means the cycles the cannonball launcher will go through before reversing. And as for the fire rate, it's it's the speed they're gonna shoot at, uh, kind of like the torpedo tads. One is really fast, uh, as soon as, and the, the higher the fire rate, the slower it, it will shoot. And angle change, this one is kind of kind of hard to explain, but you can actually see the whole, you should see the whole tooltip here appearing. But again, Angle change is the change in angle between each cycle. You can use any angle here. Most commonly, 45 and 90 are used. And yeah, it's right. In my latest level, I actually left a, an angle change this way. And what it means is, it, it starts from shooting from diagonally, then it changes and shoots uh, upwards, and then shoots um, uh, 22 more more degrees. That's uh, uh, what a cycle is. and. I'm not sure, if you still didn't understand what, what I meant, please uh, um, drop a comment down below and I'll help you the best way I can. This is definitely the most uh, dev hard, th hard, hard thing, the hardest thing to explain the, about customization. But then again, it's all about trial and error and experimenting. This is how I got to, to know the, the physics and the, the customization options here in Super Mario Construct. So, let's move on. Actually, let's, let's customize here, attach this one to the floor, which is attached to bottom, no angle change, um, leave him like this, sure, why not, and let's actually attach this to the top, attach to up, and no angle change, sure, why not, and actually let's make this one shoot slower, oh, you remember, 
always remember to act, to change the angle if you want to point it down too, which is 180. There you go. Looking really clean here. Okay. I only got three enemies left from this page, which is the, the Bullet Bill Blaster. Bullet Bill Blaster gonna gonna finish it, finish it, finish the tiling like this, and to customize it, hold Shift, left Shift, and click on it. And there you have it. Hold on, let, just let me toggle the the tool, toolbar just so it can. It's more, much easier for you to see. These are the properties you can you can change. Okay, cannon only. Let's actually uh, select this one just to see what it does. And you can actually um, choose what what this thing is gonna shoot. The fault build build is the normal build build we all love and know. The fault missile build is the one with the, the cat ears, like you've seen before up in the other map. Slow bullet build is the bl blue bullet builds, red bullet builds, red red cat eared bullet builds, and blue cat eared bullet builds. Okay, this is the fire, firing speed. You can actually choose that. You can set it to very slow, slow, very fast. And this one is absolutely new, machine cannon. I'm gonna show this real soon too. But for now, let's test the cannon only. But I know what a sniper cannon does. It actually, the cannon will point wherever Mario is and will actually follow that way until you leave the screen, which is pretty damn cool. I already used this in two of my Super Mario concert levels. And this is quite an awesome feature and that offers quite a unique challenges. For, for now, let's test the cannon only thing. Save and let's test, since we, we already put so many things here. And again, if you don't want to test test from all the way back, hold shift, click on this uh, green arrow key, select the map. In my case, it's map 2 entrance 1 and select play. And that's it. All right, let's take a look. Dry bones behaves normally. Bra dry bones and throwers bones, really cool. Static one, static grinders don't fall; they stay stand still. All right, don't, just don't mind that cut off just for experimenting purposes. It's all about experimenting. And yes, they can. The torpedo attacks can also be launched upwards. All right, here's the thwomp. More thwomps. More thwomps. Okay, I should have kept the the star here. I know. All right. So as you can see here, default means it will point it to the left and right, wherever Mario is. All right. Let's keep it on. Bam. Man, these these sprites are quite savages. All right. As you can see, it. That part was going from left to right. This is what movement does. If you, if you insert negative values on that movement thing, it starts going to the left instead of the right. And look at that. It's kind of, kind of getting busy here. Let's go down. Okay. This got quite, quite um, awkward. So let's go back to the editor. I'm not going to show you what the... Oh, I see. It's kind of more like a for a more um, strict effect, for more still effect, I I believe. So let's actually change change back this to machine cannon, it, which is it literally what it means. It's a mini gun of bullet bills. It's absolutely insane. Only I only recommend this as a sole enemy of one specific area. It's that overkill and might cause performance issues to your level. So be absolutely responsible with this, okay? I, I really want to, to help you out. So, <laughs> this is gonna be freaking insane. So let's test it out. And look at that. This is the machine cannon for you. It's absolutely insane, but also makes for a very easy one-up generator. Don't you guys think? <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Holy crap. Let's um, be even more ridiculous and change the bullet bills into slow bullet bills. That that would be pretty awesome. And now let's test it from from this one, map one. No, map two, entrance one. 
be right back. All right, how do you like it? <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> okay, that's that's it for the bullet bills and the bullet bill blaster. So let's remove this entrance just for testing poses, and let's move back to the chain balls. These things. Okay, just just place it there like you normally would. Place the tile. Let's pick this one. Why not? Hold left shift to customize it. Now this one's actually pretty easy to understand. Direction is direction you really really want to go. Well, what else would it mean? Let's uh, set it counterclockwise, and you can actually set, select how many chains you want to to have. Let's uh, have zero. Zero um, will only make the ball spin. Actually, let, let's test it out. I'm, I'm really curious about this. <laughs> and yes, it'll only spawn the ball. The ball with the spiky ball. Okay, so change it back. You can actually make it have five chains. It's insane, really. Let's explore more properties of these. Speed is, speed is actually gonna spin. Well, let me change it to 100. And the angle is the angle is going, is going to start spinning. Let's put it 45. And it's gonna be tilted to the right. So let's test it again. And that looks absolutely insane. <laughs> it actually went out of, of the center, but let me test this out more. Beautiful. So you really have to, to pay attention to where it's gonna spin and how it's gonna spin. Because it will can look off center. But then again you can fix this. It's all about experimenting. So let's test it again and see if if they got fixed uh, according to the base style. And it did, it, it actually did. And that's that's pretty much it about the, um, the chain ball and chain. Next up is the fire bar. Yes, this fire bar right here. This guy right here. Okay, so you're gonna drop one, only one of these. And I'll left, hold left shift and click it. Rotate clockwise. And you can actually uh, set how many flames you got, the bar is gonna have. So let's see, we say we won't have five bars. And what's really cool about this, you can actually change the size too. Let's let's change it to small. It will really, will really, really. I'm sorry. It will really look like those fire bars from Super Mario Bros. One. But you, but you want, let's get even more ridiculous. Let's set this to large. It's absolutely <laughs> absolutely funny. Look at that. <laughs> Again, just like the ball and chain, you can you can also change the speed. It's gonna well spin, and also the the angle is gonna start spinning. Let's put this at 90. Yes, 90. Perfect. Again, always put the the base style right next to the right right to the the bottom. Okay, which is this one? This base style right here. Time to test it. Let's go. And look at that. And that's how how it works. And I might have few a, a few things here. Which is the bones? Again, there's not not much to explain here. You can only you can only change direction either to four directions, this, like this, like that, like so. Okay, same thing goes for these little flames here. Pretty self-explanatory too. Very easy to set up. Only both bones and these flames can be rotated using left control, and that's it. Okay. Let's go. You can. I'm. I'm gonna leave Boom Boom for last, but before that, let's change back to the water enemies. Oh yes, this is what new about. What's new about the water update? Let's begin with the these guys, the the cheap chips, green cheap chips. The only thing you can do here is, is to you have three directions. Yeah, three directions to the the fishes. Four actually. Four. My bad. No, actually three, I stand corrected. 
So you can you can only customize it in, in control. You can make it go to the left, to the up and down. And that's it. That's it for the green fishes. They these swim through to solid tiles too, actually. Which is kinda kinda good for other water challenges. This this is the rip rip von fish or rip van fish. It's a kissing kissing fish, as I like to call it. You can only change direction, can't really customize it. You can only uh, flip it to the left or right. This is the the sp a spiky fish. This one actually follows you all around the water, and as soon as you leave the water, it will it will go back to mind its own business. But ultimately, it only changes chases Mario down. Okay, bloopers behave just like in Super Mario Bros. One and two, and three. And this, this look really cool, back to SMW styled. Really damn cool. Okay, these are elect Gelectros. These are 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 just like munchers. They they're not customizable at all. You can just place them however you want. That's how these work. This is, is the spike balls. This is, you can only customize the the movement with control, left control. Left arrow makes him move well to the left. Right to the right, and this one is static, I believe, and only rises to the surface. All right, next is the the big Bertha. This dude right here. You can you can't customize you can't really customize it. You can you just place it and it will follow Mario wherever he is, just like some certain enemies I've I've showed here. This is the another big fish, big big bad boy here, another big Bertha. And um, you can't really customize it, it will automatically change direction whenever it feels like it. So it's not really customizable at all. And this is the Spike Bass. This one is faster than, than these big fishes. And only chases Mario around, so you can't really change direction or change any specific properties at all. Next one is the Power Fish, Beha behaves the same way. Can't, you can't change direction or you can't use either, either of the keys to customize it. So, the last, last but not least, the cheap cheap, the regular cheap cheap. So I'm gonna remove some these green dudes here, and this uh, fish has five different behaviors. So let's. Uh, sh you can you can't change direction with with left control by the way, but you can hold shift and click on it and makes this little window appear. We have fish a high, how how long it's gonna move. And sign angle. Let's uh, explore fish AI first. Swim horizontally makes him swim swim well horizontally, of course. But you can, if you want him to swim vertically, just go here, and we'll swim vertically. And this is how how much tiles is gonna move each side. So let's have him move three tiles. It's going to go three tiles up and three tiles down from this tile specific tile right here. If I wanted to, I could move like 10 tiles, which is absolutely insane, but let's leave it at 3 for simplicity and, well, convenience, really. And the sign angle, it's how much it's gonna wave around while it descends. So I'm gonna leave it at 2, since, since the it's it's gonna uh, wave back and forth 2 tiles. That's what it means. So let's test the... and see how, how that goes. <laughs> we absolutely insane, I, I hope. Oh, oh my boy, oh lord. So yeah, this big, bigger red fish as he jumps around, this one follows you. Okay. This is absolute lunacy, look at that. <laughs> and yes, it, it does have the characteristic sound. There you go. Bam. Okay, let's put some more fishes and just to to show you what this update has to offer. It's pretty wild. I I I already told you. Let's have this swim horizontally and have a a wave waving thing of three. Actually, let's erase this one. And this is my favorite fa fish AI so far. The circle around. So it works that way. Place a chip chip. 
hold left shift and click it, change it to circle around, and let's start with the top. I always recommend starting with the top. So it's gonna move, let's say, five tiles. So the top one starts at, at the angle of zero. So let's place them like this. And you can actually go um, three tiles. No, five, okay. One, two, three, four, five, good. Five. That's it. This is the center. Move it a little bit here and start from the start going to the right. Repeat the process, circle around. Five. And the angle is 90. Yeah, yes, 90. You can actually change direction with the left control, which is kind of which is a bummer. Again, repeat the same wins a repeat. Five. And angle of 180. I mean, you, you did learn this in, in maths, right? I hope you it's still in check. <laughs> okay, so go around, five tiles, and an angle of 270. And there you go. That's how, how you make fishes go circle around. That's how you set them up. But there are still, still two behaviors left to showcase. So let's place one here and another one here. This is called the insta jump. It immediately jumps uh, whenever you you see him on screen. This is the swim and jump. So it's gonna let's have him swim. Uh, let's say eight tiles, and the sign of one. It will wave back and forth one tile, and move around eight tiles horizontally, and then it jumps. That's how it the way it works. So let's test it out. Andrews number one. Let's go. All right, let's observe his, his behavior. So yeah, that wasn't a, a spectacular jump, particularly, because it's still underwater. You, you should place those fishes, um, the instant jump ones and the swim and jump, right uh, below the surface, because that's where they behave the best. And look at that, they, they actually swim, swim in circles. How cute is that? <laughs> They're so disciplined. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> And, okay, and that's pretty much it for all the regular enemies. Only one left. And that is Boom Boom. Okay, so I already placed the warp here. Let's place our big bad boy here. Okay, place him here. You can change direction with left control. No siree. You can also... You can, you can, however, hold left shift and click on him. You have all of these modes available to you. Okay, so well, this is the only mode option. This is how many hits it's gonna take to die. Say, say the standard is three hits. Boom Boom takes three hits to, to be killed. Let's change it to five. Can make him it can make him die with five hits or even ten hits. No, you can. Well, let's get even more ridiculous and actually dies with twenty-five hits. No, that's preposterous. Please don't ever do this. Only if you're really, really sadistic. Okay, but let's leave him at five hits. Speed, you cannot actually change how, how fast he goes. Let's put um, 200, 250. This is the jump, it's how high he's gonna jump, obviously. Pretty self explanatory. Jump 800, sure. And you can actually cho uh, ch choose which item he's gonna drop, which is makes makes really, really intense for. I'm sorry, it makes from. It's really cool for intense challenges. Like if you have to unlock. If you really need of a P switch, of, of a trampoline, of a key to unlock a secret exit. So much cool stuff to do here. So many ideas to do. It's really, really cool. So when he dies, he, dro he drops a power block. When he dies, he drops a key. When he dies, he drops a P switch. When he dies, he drops a trampoline. But for our example, let's have him actually drop the goal orb. The phase, phase is, is a phase is a, the automatically increasing speed for each eat you, you give it to him. Actually, let's... Uh, okay, no, no, I my, my bad. Auto increase is the, the standard one. He actually goes faster for every time you hit him. Phase one is the slower one. Phase two is mid the middle speed. Phase three is the is a much faster speed. You can also change the, some settings regarding the music. 
the, if I set this to don't change, the castle music will still play. Otherwise, if I pick boss music, it will actually play Bob Boom Boom's theme. Alright, so let's test him out. Let's actually start from the very beginning and beat the whole level. Let's go. Okay, showdown, showdown time, let's go! He's not down yet! Alright, now, now it's a fair fight! And there you go, that's, this is how it works. Okay, I ho that's every enemy, every customizable enemy and how to set them up, set them up in Super Mario Construct. Again, if you have any doubts, I know it was quite a long run, it was quite a long video. I know, I know. Please drop a, a comment down below if you're still unclear about something. I'll do my best to, to help you out. And again, thank you for watching and thank you for being excellent and bear with me today. <laughs> So, until then, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace out!